bedroom was upstairs. I had a good view from my window to see the new neighbors that moved in next door early in the morning. And, well, there was a man and a woman, and they were carrying boxes into the house. They must have been the couple. And, well, my eyes traveled to the neighbor's vacant upstairs bedroom window, which was directly across from mine. And it was open, and inside was a girl who looked about my age. Just then she looked over and she saw me, and she motioned for me to open my window. So I did, and she leaned out the window and curved her hand around her mouth and whispered to me, Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. (laughs) And I laughed, and, Well, nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm Sam. And she smiled, and she said, Well, keep your window open. And then she moved out of sight, and, well, I was confused. Keep my window open. Just then, she returned with something in her hand, and she tossed it over to me. It was a paper airplane. It slowly and gently made its way through the window and onto my floor behind me. I walked over and picked it up, and on top was written, Open. So I opened it, and the message said, Hey, Sam, I'll come over tonight and introduce myself. I thought it was a bit strange and wrote back, Come over tonight? What do you mean? So I turned around to toss it back, but she wasn't there. The window was still open, so I tossed it and it went into the window anyways and thought that maybe she'll just reply sooner or later. So it got late into the evening and still no reply from Sarah. Uh, My mom invited the new neighbors over for dinner. So I started to think, well, maybe this is what she meant by coming over tonight. Honey, come down for dinner, my mom shouted. I ran downstairs to the dining room to sit at the table, but I didn't see Sarah, just her parents. So I couldn't help but ask, where's Sarah? The man and woman stared at me as if I said something out of place. Excuse me? The man said, Sarah, your daughter. The woman put her hands up, covering her mouth. and She was crying and, well, The man stood up and said, Our daughter died a year ago in an accident. I don't know what you're up to, but that's enough. They both left the house immediately, and Mom glared at me, and she's like, Why would you do that? Go to your room. A flurry of confusion was spinning in my head. I I couldn't speak. Well, I, I made it back to my room, and I turned on my light, and I just laid on my bed. Just then, a paper airplane flew through my window elegantly landing on my floor and I picked it up and looked out my window. There was Sarah standing in the darkness of her room. My heart started to pound. She moved closer until the moonlight hit her face, her eyes dark and skin gray. I looked down to read the message. Fear kicked in as it said, behind you. My lights descent flickered off. The floorboards behind me squeaked and a dark whisper into my ear. Sam!